Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and you're probably thinking, wow, you look super gangster. Well, thank you. And that's because I'm wearing the Picture Explore suit. Now, first things first, let's get to the sizing on this. This one is an extra large, and it is possibly slightly large on me. I usually wear a large, however, Picture is a European company, and what I've found in the past, and if you guys head over to adventurerig.com and check out some of our outer layer reviews, a lot of times, European Canadian larges are too small on me. I'm six feet tall, 32 inch inseam, 35 inch waist, I'm 200 pounds, and I can usually fit in a large everything in the US. I step up though overseas. That's what I did for this suit. And it's a little bit roomy for me. It fits, I can definitely ski in it. I look a little thuggish, ruggish, I love it. It does everything great. It's maybe just one size too big. However, maybe a large is too small. I don't know, I never tried it on. One thing that I can tell you is that when I lift my arms up in this, right in the crotch here, it does pull it up just a little bit. And I'm wondering if maybe a large would be a little bit too tight. So when I'm ragdolling down the mountain, I would feel that down here and I don't want that. Now this suit is amazing. There's a lot of really great qualities about it. It's 20,000 K for waterproofing and 15 K for breathability. Now, unfortunately, I haven't gotten to use this in a lot of really wet conditions and heavy wet snow, so I can't attest to the waterproofing, but there's nothing about it that says I'm gonna get wet. There's fully taped seams throughout the entire suit to really keep all the moisture out. I don't know if you're familiar with the picture brand, but if you want to protect the environment, why not stand behind a company that also wants to protect the environment? And that's exactly what you're getting with the picture brand. A lot of their clothing is made out of organic materials or recycled. This particular suit is 48% recycled polyester and 52% polyester insulation Cormax that's Green Plus certified. So they're really a company that is standing behind the environment and doing everything they can to protect it. Talking about the insulation, this does have a little bit of weight to it. It's mainly a shell, but it has a slight bit of insulation. Now, out here today, we're in the backcountry and I'm skinning in it. I usually wouldn't pick a one-piece suit to go out and skin in, but I really wanted to test it out and see how well it ventilated and how well it would keep me cool. Now, honestly, someone like Callie, she's cold and a lot colder of a person, a lot colder of a body than I am. I think she'd actually do okay with this suit. On the other hand, there's myself, who I'm really hot when I'm skinning. I generate a lot of heat. I opened up all the vents that it has. It has two under the arms, as well as two in the thighs. And then I also unzipped the entire suit and really opened it up. I was on the verge of being a little bit too hot. I was able to take my hat off. And with the wind that we had getting into the suit, it kept me cool enough. But with the backpack that I was wearing, I still got kind of hot on my back. There's really nothing that is gonna help to avoid that if I'm wearing a backpack though. Once I was at the top, zip it up. This is where the suit really shines and what it's made for, pow, and a ton of it. This is gonna be my go-to if I'm going to the resort and we've had 12 inches, I'm not worried about getting anything down my pants, up my jacket, I fall a lot. And with that comes a lot of snow in places I don't want it. That is gonna be completely sealed out with the Explore suit. Speaking of being in the back country and skinning with it, one thing that I noticed that I really liked when I got the suit is on the inside, if I just take this jacket off, they actually give you some suspenders, which you can see right here. What's nice about these is I can lay the jacket down or the upper half of the suit and it doesn't just go all the way down to the ground. However, this isn't something that I would do if I was actually skinning with it because it still hangs pretty low. And the problem that I have, if you're in the trees and it's windy or you're brushing up against trees, I'm gonna pack this with snow. So I wouldn't really do that, but I really like how they do provide suspenders. So if you're just walking around the lodge and you wanna look all cool, throw the top off and let it hang out. One downside about these suspenders is that if you are wearing a backpack, you can see that on the very front, they have this plastic clip to help adjust the suspenders, either tighter or more loose to really bring these up or bring them down. And if I had these a little tighter, my backpack straps would be sitting right on those. However, where I'm wearing them, there's not a problem. Also, I wasn't sure having this big strap up here on my shoulders, I was thinking possibly having the backpack on, it would maybe start to really irritate me. 
and I never did have that problem. One thing they could do is make these removable. They're not right now, but if they did, I would love to see that because I would take those off if I was wearing a backpack in the backcountry. Now, as I put the jacket on, you can see that through my wrists, I actually have really nice gaiters. This is gonna help to keep all of the snow completely out of this suit. On the inside, one thing that I found it's missing is that there are not any interior pockets. So if you wanna throw goggles or skins if you're in the back country, or possibly a music device or a phone, I can't do that with this. And on the exterior, I do have a lot of pockets, but none of them are a media pocket providing a way to put headphones all the way through the jacket and then up the collar. So if you like to listen to music, there's just not a media pocket in these. Although, what's not Bluetooth these days? Maybe I'm old school and I'm the only guy out there that still has cords running into his phone. The zippers are all YKK waterproof and they do provide a nice interior flap to really seal out the elements again. Zipping this all the way up, you can see that I have great coverage across my entire face, and they've also provided a nice fleece interior lining to keep that nice and soft. I've got skin like a baby, very delicate. I need it to be soft. The hood easily fits over any helmet, as well as on the back, I do have adjustability to really tighten it down, which I like, because out here skinning, I took my hat off and I was just wearing the hood. It was nice to be able to tighten that down, keep out all the blowing snow as we were going up. On the very bottom, they do some great features down there. They've really reinforced the inside edge of these pants, so if you're skiing, it's gonna really help prevent getting any cut edges through your pants, which is always a bummer, especially when you spend a lot of money. On the exterior, it's not a zipper, but there are a couple buttons that you can undo, and it does give it a little extra room. Now, one thing I'd like to see is on the very bottom, they have the elastic, so you can throw it over your boot and help keep snow out. Well, the elastic is maybe just a little bit large on this particular pair, and so it doesn't really give it a nice tight fit. I never did have a problem with getting snow up my boot or anything, but I'd like it to be nice and tight because it actually can make its way down my boot and over all my buckles, which I kind of find a little bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world by any means. They also do provide some sweet belt loops on the exterior, so if I really wanted to suck this in and show off my shapely figure, I could. However, I don't think that's the style I'm going for. I think I'm just gonna let this hang completely out. Also, on the arm, we ski at Copper Mountain a lot. First year for it, they finally have the gates that open up when you give them your pass and you just scan it. Well, never really thought about it much before, but I'm really happy to have a pass pocket in the arm. Now, I can just scan easily and effortlessly. The gates of heaven open up and I slide right through. So that's another great feature about it. Again, this is made by Picture, a company that is doing everything they can to protect the environment. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, or comments, leave them below and we will definitely get back to you. If you're wondering where we are or what we're up to, please check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Again, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, looking thuggish-ruggish in the Explore suit. <laughs>